Hi guys, this video is especially for those that spend a lot of time sitting at a chair at work. Um, just keep in mind on anything I cover, you can stop the video at any time, do it and then come back to anything else I do mention. To start off with, we're going to get a bit of massage work done first, so I'm going to get that going to begin with. Okay, so I'm going to, to start with the massage, I'm going to use like a massage gun. You don't have to use a massage gun, but I'm only showing you this because there's a lot of the are kind of uh, nailed to a desk right now and it's an easy way you can do a bit of passive work. So it kind of works on vibration. It's like having a self-massage. Any of the equipment I mention are all available at sportsphysio.ie. That's sportsphysio.ie. That gun I'm using is um, a Hypervolt and it's Bluetooth and it'll have its own instructions on how to use it in various areas. So perfect for the forearms, perfect for the lats, anything you can see there, like you can hit your quads, your calves, but all the tight areas, a lot of people can be very, very tight. And who isn't tight in those traps? in the upper back area and it'd be wonderful if you had somebody do that do it on you there as well that'd be even better but you can easily get on on quite uh, quite common areas that are very very tight for a lot of people if you don't have a massage gun that's absolutely fine you get yourself a little massage ball you can get them again from the same company and the main areas you really want to focus on are the two areas that we need to keep mobile. One is in on the glute area, one in on the back pocket. So we're high in on the back pocket. Again, if we're spending a lot of time sitting at a desk all day, I can guarantee you the glutes will get lazy and they'll also get um, very, very tight. Also then pull the arm across the body and work it in on the upper back. So pull the arm across, put the ball against the wall, and then just work in on that upper back area. So again, these are two are three different areas that you can work on uh, just before you start to stretch a little bit that will just make a lot of the stretching and some of the light strength work that we'll do here now an awful lot easier. So let's go back to our chair and I'll give you a couple of ideas that you can do from here as well. And this will help to really kind of loosen things out. So you're sitting all day, roll the shoulders, okay? Sitting on your chair, you don't even have to move. Pulse those arms back because again, what we want to do is focus everything with the shoulders and pulling the shoulders down and back where they should be, not hiked up towards your ears. Palm up, palm down, and then just just twist from side to side, about 10 or 15 of each of these movements, okay? From there, we're gonna move in and stretch out the neck. Hold the underside of the chair, and then gently pull the side of the head. Now you could turn, see the way I've turned and looked at the other shoulder? We can work in on that direction. You can occasionally push your head into your hand like I'm doing here. Be very gentle when you're working on the neck here, okay? So warm up the shoulders, do a little bit of massage, and then start working in on some light stretches in on the neck area, okay? So again, the neck area though is obviously linked into the shoulders, so just stretching your neck like that isn't the solution. You have to do all the other stuff. Come to standing then, and then really work in on getting in on the lat in the upper back. So drive that head to the arms and move up and down like that. Okay, up and down. Squat into it a little bit. If that chair is sliding at all, at all it means you're probably going to put, you're pushing on it. We shouldn't be pushing on it like that. You just need to sit your, your knees into it. So bend your knees a little bit more. Sit into it like I'm doing here and drop that head right down. That'll be a really good stretch for the upper back. Okay, and then do some rotations. You need to rotate that upper back as well as flexing and extending it. Okay, it likes that range of motion. If it doesn't like doesn't get it, it's going to look for it in that lower back and it's going to look for it in the neck. So make sure you keep those shoulders all mobile. Bit of soft tissue, uh, a bit of um, mobility work. Also then for the hips, we don't want our pelvis rocking forward the whole time because the thighs get really, really tight. So give them a good stretch while you're there. And again, there's another way in which you can get your massage gun out, lob it up on top of the chair there and give them a good blast in on the quads then. Okay. And that will make that thigh stretch a lot easier. If the thighs get really, really tight, it's going to pull your pelvis forwards and it's going to make any uh, a, a, a huge amount of work for that lower back here lower back likes to be pretty much stable it's not going to like it when the pelvis is being pulled forward from quads that are very tight brilliant on the calves there as well guys and um a very easy way in which you can do it if you don't have that that's absolutely fine get yourself a foam roll jump on onto the floor there and give your quads a quick roll then as well it only takes 20 30 seconds guys hit that quad stretch on both sides so stretch your thighs on both sides slightly lean in occasionally push your foot into your hand like that you see push your foot in do some contractions while you're there push the foot in and it'll make it a little bit easier okay from there we're going to again stay with the hips and we're going to work in on the glutes big area as i said earlier that's very tight on a lot of people so you can you give the ball a go against the wall like i showed you earlier and then in this position i just put my hand on that knee push my knee up into my hand my hand will resist it and then i try and ease that knee down that ideally should be level with the floor so my shin should be level with the floor now the easy way is working on squeezing in and out like this 
Okay, so squeezing your knees in, squeeze your knees out, use the um, hands as resistance, and then we can also do is put your hand in on the knee or use a foam roll. So if we squeeze the foam roll with your knees, you try and take the foot out to the side. And that's an easy way of strengthening up the hips. It's the same on both sides. Remember, you can stop this video at any, at any time and then do it and then come back to it. From here, we work on some spinal rotations. So just work on twisting. You can take your arm overhead if you want. Again, this is really more for the upper back. It's to make sure the, the, the T-spine is able to rotate as well. The head is the last thing you should be worrying about twisting. So focus on twisting the shoulders or maybe uh, lifting the arm up overhead so there's a couple of ideas again sitting on the chair for that one as well so we're going to move back to standing so you've stood up maybe again and you say right i'm going to roll the hips a bit get a bit of rolling in on the hips and then maybe a couple of leg swings there so again it's a really about maintaining of some range in the hips it's not about just doing static stretches any of the stuff we do here we want to focus on the three s's s number one soft tissue work that's using our gun using our ball using our foam roll s number two is doing some stretching and s number three is doing some strengthening exercises so you got to work on all three s's again you can chop and change between each of them if you have a band handy jesus this is a great and very important exercise roll those shoulders over and back roll it over and back work on increasing some range in those shoulders and do some band pull aparts pull those shoulders down and back if you only did one exercise for the rest of your life for your shoulders this is number one band pull aparts and shoulder dislocates really important to keep the upper back nice and strong pulse it back roll the shoulders a couple of times and that's a couple of ideas you can use that focus on those three s's and keep you a little bit looser at your desk hope that helps guys and share it around with your friends